Building on the success of 2011, we've been able to develop a permanent floating cinema working with a brand new boat that's been designed by Doug and Morris Architects and we hope that this is going to be operating on London's canals and waterways for years to come. Having won the competition, we were sort of faced with an exciting challenge of turning what was, um, we felt, quite an interesting scheme into reality. We started our design of the project thinking about the experience of cinema that cinema is this experience ingrained within everyday culture and that actually um, it would be a, an amazing way of people engaging with the um, culture and history and legacy of, of London. I think you know that it's been an incredible journey for both ourselves as architects, designers, but I think also for up projects and all of their team and all the other sponsors and contributors to the project. I mean, it's an incredible amount of energy uh, and effort to kind of do something that actually, if you look at it, it looks relatively simple. It's quite a basic looking thing, but uh, the complexity sits underneath. We've only really been able to do this project with the support of the Legacy List in Bloomberg, and it's been fantastic to have their support throughout the build and also the programme. We commissioned the Floating Cinema in 2011. It was a great success. That was before the Olympics had even happened. And I was thinking out of that, that we really should celebrate the water, people who live and work on the water, artists, creatives, people that own allotments around and about, and bring all of those together. And the floating cinema seemed to be a perfect way to do it. We've been working with artists Nina Pope and Karen Guthrie from somewhere who have been developing the creative programme for the Floating Cinema. So the theme for this year's programme was extraordinary and we do show films on the Floating Cinema but we try to offer something a little bit different as well. You can go to a multiplex and see a film. In a way, if you come to the Floating Cinema, you want something a bit special. So we also do tours, live events, all sorts of different types of event. Yeah. <laughs> we programmed a horror weekender. We had things like makeup artists, we had foley artists who do the sound effects for horror films, doing demonstrations and workshops on the cinema. I think Floating Cinema is a great idea and, and, and having films seen in different spaces is, is something that's a kind of growing trend really and something that I think people are more and more kind of getting into. They, they, um, cinema needs to kind of work harder nowadays. Things like this, we've got the Floating Cinema, you've got outdoor screenings like this, I think are perfect for kind of giving the audience um, the feeling that cinema is still something very, very special and something very, very much to be experienced live. The main outdoor screening this year was Frank and Weenie, which is a fancy dress event, and that built on a relationship we have with Three Mills where the film was made. And th those events are always good fun, but they're very different to the very small events on the boat. It was great to see the film Frank and Weenie, and just by the canal, it was just lovely to sit down and watch it. 
Lots of the events this year looked at the kind of industrial history of the area of the canals where the boat travels and you know that ranged from quite a straight talk by an expert on the area to a comedy um, set written by Helen Keane which looked at concrete and parkazine as its subject through to Brendan Walker's tour which he sort of rigged up this kind of bespoke sound system on the boat which he used so it was fantastic to see different people approach that content in different ways and it's really great to be able to commission that new work you know not to just pull stuff off the shelf but to actually think well we'd really like to do something about this let's find a really interesting person to deliver that content Content. The response of the audience at the Floating Cinema is always fantastic because in a way it's such a small venue that the people that make it to the venue to actually inside the cinema are there because they really want to be there and they've chased that ticket down in that event, they've chased it and they're really pleased to be at one of those 12 or 15 people aboard. But the bigger scale events, of course, are, are when we project a film outside, like at King's Cross or at Three Mills. I mean, that's a very different thing, and young people and you know passers-by enjoy those films just as much as the people who are, you know, I suppose, on the cinema during the small scale events. I think that diversity is great in such a small space. So on the ecology tour that we finished with, you know, the people on that, lots of them were also experts, but you know, John's delivery was at such a high level and they were actually handling the materials and they had two hours with him in this really intimate environment to ask questions. I mean, it's a fantastic chance for an audience and quite unlike lots of other spaces, I think. To be able to cruise the canal at walking speed effectively, so I can do a bit of talking, then we can look out the windows, it's a nice open plan, so people can be viewing out the side while I'm talking. There's deck space for us to interact from, to collect samples from, and being able to interact with a relatively small group of people while we're on board and while we're cruising is great. One of my uh, favourite types of participants are actually the people who hadn't planned on being a participant at all. Often we do outdoor events, we'll, uh, we'll set up at somewhere like uh, Bow or, or King's Cross and there'll be a lot of um, public just walking by and a lot of people don't interact at all with the canals and they see this this strange looking uh, vessel with pink curtains and they stumble down and just ask what it's about and uh, we quite enjoy just telling people how the locks work, what the boat is and, uh, and it really gets people to interact with the waterways. We had a competition for a short documentary and we ran that with Brit Dock and Una Kearney was awarded that and she made a, a beautiful short documentary that was kind of hybrid and it was filmed around the canals of East London. So when we showed it, obviously people really recognised the location and it's got this beautiful narrative. I really enjoyed working with a project who really trusted me to um, uh, you know, be, be a filmmaker and completely um, allowed the film to take its own organic journey and we're just always saying, look, if you need any help. So that was really, really nice. It's so nice to be trusted as a filmmaker when you're given a commission. Well, alongside the public programme, the Extraordinary programme, we've also run quite an extensive education programme where some artists, Tracy and Hobbs, have been working with an intergenerational group of participants. They asked us to make a film with local community groups. We came up with the project Water Folk, which will be, um, the film will be shown on the floating cinema. So we're working with a scientist called Professor Malcolm Burrows to film some of the bugs and creatures that we find in the canal. Using these, these films, we'll be working with the children to create drawn animation. It raises fantastic um, sort of response from people. It's been really, uh, really positive. And I think the people that get to go on the boat enjoy the experience. It's just really novel and it really attracts uh, you know, some great comments from people. Another important partner in this project has been the Canal and River Trust and they've been really supportive of our programme both in terms of facilitating the moorings and the kind of practical use of the canals um, but also really encouraging us as a cultural sort of um, offer to take place on the canals and rivers of London. It's been a fantastic year and really something that we can build on for future years and we're already looking at um, what we'll be doing next year and looking at an international focus and hopefully also taking the cinema out of London as well. Really we can go wherever the canal network will take us.